My name is Greg Herbrook. Um, I'm one of the family members of Herbrook Poultry Ranch. Um, we're a third and fourth generation egg production company in West Michigan. Um, we had the chance to meet with the governor today at our farm. Um, it's been a long process of, of, of inviting him and getting him the opportunity and, and coordinating schedules, but it was a great day to visit and covered some of the important issues to our farm. Uh, one of those is rel relative to uh, that he had a very much interest in helping us uh, grow in this community and is the 2020 regulations that we're dealing with uh, that affect the caging or the, the spacing of hen living systems. This is, uh, we are now about 50% of all the hens we own, right around 4 million of our 8 million hens are in cage-free housing like that. Um, and we have, all of our customer base is committed to transitioning over time, but most of it's not till 2025. Hence our questions and concerns about the 2020 deadline in the Michigan law. So, um, but yes, that cage-free environment, um, it's more work to take care of. It's the birds can make lots of decisions. They tend to be very, very active and they, so they eat more. Yeah, cage-free eggs have been available. They are higher priced because the birds do eat more and it takes more than twice as much labor just to care for them. So the number of people to inspect them and care for them is more than double because it's just that much more work. We spend a lot of time, some of the unique things we learned in Michigan is we heat our buildings and, and that was very beneficial to the environment and one of the things we did to best heat them is we have in-floor heat. I, I don't have in-floor heat at my house and, um, but that's one of the, makes it an amazingly uniform and comfortable environment. Keeps the litter dry and then we also dry the manure and then we turn that into a fertilizer. It's been great working with the state. The governor has been very much a part of helping us succeed through the various programs that are um, with the meat program and, and the uh, um, GAMPS, uh, siting GAMPS for building. Uh, that's been an amazing program and helped us uh, streamline our growth and meet our customer needs and that's been some very it's a real success story. Well, I think having multi-generational things is wonderful because it really shows the dedication and the importance of whatever field it may be. Uh, the Centennial Farms, I've talked about that many times. They get that wonderful green sign in someone's place to have a hundred years, but then you come to Herbrox or, or these other places that you see multiple generations. If you think about it and you think about people thinking about the long term and the future, they're really thinking about the future because when they're doing this stuff, they're not thinking just about themselves. They're thinking about the fact that their child or their grandchild could be taking this over. So that's one of the things I always like to remind people when people bring up like environmental issues. Um, in many respects, one of the earliest environmentalists was the farmer um, because they, were, they rely on that land for generations. And if you think about this value added processing the same way, so the, they actually firmly believe it's really important they think about the future, about sustainability, about making sure whatever they're doing is something that continue going on and being very valuable for generations to come. That's wonderful. Well, agriculture is gonna be a huge part of Michigan's future indefinitely because it is Michigan, if you really stop and look at it. I'm so proud of our position, being the second most diverse state, but I'm really proud when I have a chance to come visit facilities like Herbrox and look at um, what's going on here in terms of the production of eggs, but then they have value-added processors doing further steps and the continuation of that. That's how we create jobs. That's how we create families and family success and how we have a place where those kids growing up can keep working. That's exciting.